I decided I'm going to do a very scrappy Nova Star quilt because I have all of these five and a quarter inch squares, but I'm just gonna make this Nova Star with my giant tub of scraps that I have right here. Cause I decided to consolidate them into a big tub. I finished cutting out the pieces yesterday for the new Nova Star quilt. And it's a really scrappy one, which does not include any blue fabric, believe it or not, because by the time I got around to the blue pile, I had more than enough pieces. So this morning, I'm going to attempt to do all of the HSTs. These are four at a time HSTs. So you only need one of your colors and then one of your background fabrics. Hopefully I have more success with this than any other time I've done four at a time HSTs because usually they come out the wrong size because I'm not that good at this, believe it or not. You know what? It's been a while since I've done four at a time, so we're gonna try that today. And if that's all I get done from this quilt today, that'll be good enough. Hi. <laughs> so I got to this point, which is me sitting in a chair with my coffee table and a cutting board because I'm not doing this in my kitchen. I have all of my flying geese and my HSTs ready. I also have my rectangles and my little squares, and I'm just gonna do a lot of trimming. So I'll show you what I've got. So these are the inside flying geese. These are the HSTs, the little squares, and then these are the outside flying geese and the rectangles that go with them. And I am watching Barry because I found out over the weekend that season four premiered on Sunday. So I had to catch up a little bit. Remember where we left off in season three? So that's what I'm going to be doing. And uh, hopefully I can get a lot of trimming done. There's no way I'm going to do this just dry. God, why am I like this? Wow. Everything about this is extremely perfect. I've never made a mistake quilting. The reason I'm talking smack about myself is because I always cut the audio out. I am kind of getting into the home stretch on these blocks, so I would think I am just putting the giant bars onto the blocks and I hope you can see that. Uh, I don't know what I wanted to say in this but what I'm finding is that I have the same problems I always do when I make this quilt and that is these flying geese are never going to be accurate. They're supposed to finish a certain size and they're just too small. There's not enough wiggle room. So I've probably said this before at least to myself, and I forgot when I started cutting pieces for it, so that's on me. I would have just made them bigger, the flying geese. And now I have to deal with the fact that they're not big enough. Same thing with the HSTs. Um, this quilt, I think, relies so much on like perfectly precise quarter inch seams, and if you're like me, you can't do that. I do my very best, but it's just not perfect. And that's okay, that's fine but you just gotta know that when you make these quilts. This is just so much little, little things. I gotta put a new blade on this thing. Ow! It's never been a better time to be a quilter than today. Be more after this. Ah! <laughs> that should have hurt and it didn't.
floor is kind of slanted in this house. <laughs> and by kind of, I mean very. <laughs> The last time I did this, I made a joke about my feet. I remember that. I'm wearing socks and shoes now. You can't see my feet. I hope that looked really cool. spot here. I kind of messed up when I was quilting and so I had to like kind of tack it down a little bit. If I don't talk about it, it didn't happen. That's why. That worked. Hi, welcome back. She does not like being held. This is Tex. Um, so this is the Nova Star quilt. What do you think? It's a Sunday morning. I don't feel too great um, for reasons beyond my control. But here we are. This is the new and improved Nova Star. Hope you enjoy. Well, I started this on my birthday this year, so that was the end of March, and I was hoping to speed run it and beat my record. And now that it's approximately the mid of, middle of June, um, I know that I did not, in fact, beat that, beat that record, unfortunate. Um, but that's okay, because given my life circumstances, you know, that would be quite impressive to have done that. It's not been my year. <laughs> I've had some good, good things happen too, but, um, no, I'm proud of this. I hand quilted it. That's what took the longest. I don't think, I don't think it's the best result that I've had, like it's good, but um, I have a couple of like spots, this just pops right out, and then there's a spot on the top that also pops out a little bit. Um, just because even though I basted it and it was pretty flat, it, uh, it's not perfect, but that's okay. I used some pink thread and some blue thread, it's the same thread I used for my king size quilt last year, but I also hand quilted that. I don't recommend that. Oh, why did I go with hand quilting since I'm on the topic? I went with hand quilting because I did not think it was going to be square enough to go to the long arm, as well as I wanted to use my super scrappy backing. Um, and you can't do that on a long arm. I've talked about that before. Oops. My uh, sewing machine has given me a little bit of grief when I finished in April. So. I just didn't want to go through all of that. I did, I did go around the border here with my sewing machine once I finished hand quilting, um, just to kind of tack down the edges a bit. And then I, I had a couple spots where I was like, yeah, that's probably not flat. Binding was really easy. It was really fast compared to how long it took me to quilt it. Again, this is just a very scrappy quilt. That was the point. I went through all of my scraps. I picked out the pieces that I wanted uh, based on size. I did not use blue fabric for the most part. There's a little bit in the binding. There's a little bit of blue in some of the other fabrics, but yeah, it's, it's like everything but blue. So maybe my next project will be blue, which kind of works out for me because I just became a hockey fan this year, so. <laughs> which is ironic because I grew up with hockey, um, kind of, from Southwestern Ontario, like who doesn't know what hockey is, but my parents aren't sporty people. That and like they thought, you know, one hit to the head and you're toast. Which is funny because I've taken a few hits to the head as a kid and I'm still here. Not from hockey though, there was a tree branch that fell on my head when I was a kid and like we never got that looked at. Sewed by batch. I did all my HSTs first, then I did my flying geese, kind of. There's a lot of flying geese. You gotta be good at flying geese to be good at this quilt. Um, I'm not good at flying geese but it still doesn't look bad. Better than not trying, right? Just sewed into blocks. Blocks are never the right size because I just don't do good with this sort of thing. And then sewed into rows, sewed the rows together. I started hand quilting up here when the leaves were still playing. 
I think when they made it to the second round is when I started hand quilting. And then I just kind of like got over here and then I kind of went all the way up. And then I watched the Stanley Cup final and that's where I finished. So I'm not a hockey person, but maybe, maybe next season I will be, you know. I don't even own a pair of skates. I was borrowed. My mom and I have the same foot size, so we always wore the same pair. And then my dad didn't skate, my brother doesn't skate, so. I went with hand quilting because in my mind I thought it would be less work. I don't know what that was based off of, but I was wrong. It was, uh, it was many, many hours, and I don't even think it was like the best job I could have done. Like, I'm looking at it and thinking, oh, I should, you know, fill in some of these gaps, but uh, I just want to be done. It's been very much like a Keep Janine Busy project, and I don't hate that. Um, yep. One cool thing is I have received some interest. People want to purchase quilts. They want to commission quilts. I've also considered quilt jackets and quilt vests, something I'd like to try. So that could be a little bit of an income thing. I would like that. I would really like that. If I could have gotten paid for the amount of work I put into this, you know, I'd be looking at four digits, which would be nice because the time alone, the t oh my gosh, the time alone. But like, I wouldn't have wanted to spend the amount of time that I spent on this quilt working a day job. This is the Nova Star. Don't have a name for it. Everything you'll need to know is in the description box below, as always. And I don't know how to end this, this video, but I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try it out. Please try it out. Let me know what you think. I have the original Nova Star video I did like three years ago. A little bit different. Definitely a younger version of me. I was 18 at the time. Now I'm 21. Yes. I've enjoyed this project a lot. I feel like I haven't really sewn in a while. Like I've been hand quilting for over a month. It's been five or six weeks. So probably starting at least planning the next project today. Maybe? I don't know. I feel like I'm about to drop off the side of the earth right now. We'll see. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed and I hope some of this made sense to you.